So we're going to go ahead and make a self-scoping generic table to display all of the source content. So we're going to create diagram and pick generic tables. It's here uh, in the recent diagrams where we've made one of these recently, or we could scroll down and find it or use the search. But in this case, we'll just click on generic table. Note that it uh, automatically names it based on the package. We want to set the element type, and so we're going to pick uh, the fonts stereotypes that will display anything that is um, has that stereotype applied and if we just grab the source content folder and drag it in here uh, it'll display everything that's owned by that package uh, that meet the criteria we'll go ahead and turn on some columns so we'll turn on the documentation so we'll also turn on some columns related to the font stereotype so we'll come down here to the bottom and find it and we'll turn on author publication date and version and uh, notice here under the properties we can go to tags and when we click on an element here uh, it'll update that and display the tags down here uh, as well as up here in the table we can edit these and so if I want to come in and change the order I can double click and change this and double click in here and change the order. Let's say I want to add a Steve Doe. I can do that. Let's say I want to change the order. I can double. I can hit the uh, pick it and move it up. So we can reorder these with the plus, and we can also delete one. So let's say we don't want Steve. We can hit minus. So again, plus minus and the arrow so let us change things with more than one multiplicity so again the author was zero star I believe so we can have zero to many authors so that's how we make a generic table and scope it directly but we can also make a table self scoping so for example we want to make this in a library and set up so that anywhere you paste it it would be able to find information we'll go ahead and make this self scoping as an exercise so instead of dragging in the source content package we're going to drag in the diagram itself and notice everything disappears. Now we come here to the X, Y, and we're going to create a query, and we're going to go to the meta chains. This is our first real meta chain example. And so we're going to start with the diagram itself, and we want its owner. So that's basically going to take us from the diagram to the owning package. And we're going to use this, and notice we have a huge set of choices here. We're going to use this as a scope of a new find. And we basically want to find any class that uh, is in that set. We, can even, um, we don't need, even need to filter this based on applied stereotype because the uh, table is going to do that for us. We can just say OK, and all of a sudden they're back. So we now have a self-scoping table. So if I copy this table from source content into behavioral analysis, right click copy paste control V control C they all work if I open up this table notice there's nothing in it but if I copy um, one of these blocks and I just paste into use case elements for example and refresh this it appears so this is the case of a great self scoping table I'm just gonna delete these I don't want to leave the residue in the model but um, so this is what I do a lot when I'm creating libraries of content. I'll make a table self-scoping so that way we can paste it from the library into a package and it'll automatically find the information we care about. So self-scoping tables are very useful.